Okay, I'm back again. This time with a quick first look at the Stanley HID Spotlight. This is the HID 3000, which uses a 35 watt uh, HID bulb. It's powered by a rechargeable 3 amp hour 12 volt sealed lead acid battery. And it has about two and a half times more run time than the standard Hobden Spotlight. And of course, uh, it's going to be a hell of a lot brighter. Uh, the big thing about this light, for me at least, is I got it at an incredible price. Uh, usually this retails for anywhere from $70 to $80. Uh, that's what I've been seeing it in store since the beginning of the year. Uh, I've always wanted one of these things after I saw it at Black Friday. I actually went and got the 5-watt uh, LED spotlight. This is pretty bright itself. Uh, 200 lumens uh, with this little light. And I'll compare it with the demo with this one. Uh, but this should provide well over 1,000 lumens. Uh, with the HID bulb, which is the main reason I wanted it. And back to the point, the price down from $69.99 to $27.99. It was 60% off. Uh, this was actually marked down a couple of different times. I saw it uh, at about $75, then they put it down to $69. Then they put it down to, um, what was it, $54 or something like that. In fact, I'm willing to bet if I peel this sticker off, uh, you'll see the previous clearance price. So this one was 27 And, whoops, let's see if I can get it. Yep, previous clearance price was $55.99. So, uh, marked it down just this past week. You know, I had saw it before. Uh, $50 is too high. Uh, went go pick up some pop from the store. I uh, went ahead, like I always do, browse the flashlight and automotive section and saw this one. This was the last one on the shelf and immediately picked it up. So, pretty great deal. Let me hurry up and shut up and uh, get this thing unboxed. See if it's holding a charge so I can demonstrate it to you guys. So, like always, wire shears for the uh, blister pack. These are nearly impossible to get through without any type of heavy duty material. Got the main unit out, set that to the side for a second, get the accessories out, the doke, and what we have here is a pretty long uh, charging cable, looks like um, some type of proprietary or an SAE2 SAE connector, it doesn't really look like an SAE2, uh, looks a little bit different but it could be and some type of uh, lanyard and we have a standard 12 volt uh, adapter 12 volts 500 milliamps so a half amp charge I'm not too sure how long it will take to charge this light or if it has an automatic charger but again that will be provided in the main review so let's take a quick look um, down here that's where that proprietary cord would go I'm willing to bet that will give you much quicker charging <clears throat> Around back here we have the uh, 12 volt wall adapter plug, 12 volts DC, uh, lock and unlock. We have the uh, LEDs up top and for some reason the LEDs aren't coming on. Uh, must be some type of issue, I have to look that up, but the uh, spotlight is working. If I uh, press it now, see it is working, you can hear the high pitch noise as it's warming up. And what I'm going to do now is uh, give you guys a quick lighting demo, so hold on. Okay, before we get started, let me just clarify a few things. This is indeed an SAE2 uh, connector. Uh, it also works besides charging the unit to bypass the battery and run the equipment uh, without draining it. And it can do that while charging the battery. So uh, you can hook this up to your car or possibly an external battery pack. Continue to charge the internal battery, uh, but run directly off of 12 volts. Also, the LED bulbs do work. Uh, the unit was just uh, in desperate need of a recharge, and the only reason the HID worked is because the ballast uh, helped out with voltage. Uh, so, I'll be comparing this to the Stanley 5 watt LED spotlight. Uh, doesn't put out 200 lumens, just about though. It puts out 192 lumens uh, at its brightest setting. And this doesn't put out 1,000 lumens. This puts out 3,000 lumens, as you guys will see. Uh, has a pretty quick startup. Uh, they actually overboost the uh, bulb a little bit to get it to start up uh, in just a few seconds. So 
Let's turn out the light and start it up. Just twist it out. First, going to start out with the HID. Let it warm up. You'll hear the ballast going. And it's over boosting. And it'll slowly level off. There we, there we go, it leveled off. And we'll compare that to the Stanley uh, spotlight. I have to dial it up. And you can see this is 192 lumens. It's not dimmed by any standards. Uh, but compared to 3000 lumens, it just can't compare. Uh, the um, HID spotlight here over to the right has a nice bright hot spot. It's a wide hot spot. It also has a really good spill. In fact, if I point it up at the ceiling and turn the Stanley off, it uh, lights up the entire room, as you guys can see. Uh, it's unadjustable, but uh, still has a pretty long run time, right around 35 uh, to 45 minutes. Let me give you a quick demo of the LED bulbs. So these are the three LEDs that are up top. Uh, they provide maybe about 30, 35 lumens, uh, not that bad. I don't know the run time on them, but I'm uh, pretty sure it's a pretty long time. And let me show you the Stanley by itself, uh, just to show you how bright it actually is. It's not dim at all. This is, uh, let me dial it up again. This is 192 lumens, and start up the HID again. It just overshadows it so much. Uh, 3,000 lumens versus 192, again, just doesn't compare. So I hope you guys enjoyed this lighting demo. Uh, stay tuned for the review. You guys can subscribe to my main channel, which is in the description or on my main page. I will have reviews on the 5-watt spotlight as well as the HID spotlight in the upcoming weeks. So thanks again for watching. See you guys later. Peace.